I think Republicans talk about this way too much. And I think most Democrats would agree with me. We got to stop people that are born men competing with women on the playing field. Uh, I want transgenders to be who they are. I support them. I also support the LGBT community. And we know all the attacks from the far right, bigotry, hatred. All that being said, can we just stop this nonsense? Okay, if you're born a man, you should not be allowed to compete with women at the high school level, at the college level. And I just think um, it gives Republicans an opportunity to attack, right? And it, uh, I mean, let's just start there. I Listen, we know Trump's a liar. Kids aren't being dropped off at school and then coming home a different sex. It's a lie, but a lot of these MAGA Republicans don't care. But there are Democrats out there that are okay with this. And I just wish they would answer the question directly and say, no, if you're born a man, you, you shouldn't be competing with women. Okay, so uh, I th I actually believe that uh, if our country would have been in a position in which we were not to have a, tr uh, a conversation about trans people, I actually believe that this uh, subject about uh, trans people being in sports uh, to be the one that national discourse where we could actually come together and have a conversation, have national mm -hmm. discourse uh, about to to unscare ourselves of trans people. Right. Uh, because yeah. we have this national fear and it is. Yeah built out of bigotry and lies sure. and propaganda from the right. And but Tony, I, but, but to be fair, Tony, and I think you know this about me, I'm not afraid of, I, I, I am. No, no, no. I, well, and, and, and again, again, uh, what I'm saying is, is this conversation about the sports yeah. um, it is, is a place that society can have a conversation. Now I am on the opposite side of you. I believe that trans people can, can uh, be in sports. I, I think that's ridiculous. Really? That trans people cannot be in sports. Well, I think, I think it's that. a, I think well, and and but I want to say that yeah. that the conversation itself is the most important part of it, and 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 the reason why is because um, if 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 we would have the conversation in a specific way and not dehumanizing okay. trans Let's people, that's where we would be. I agree with you, and mm -hmm. and any dehumanization of, of exactly. the trans community is we agree hundred and fifty percent on that. Mm -hmm. Let me just make my case, and I'll be specific. Sure, Leah, Leah Thomas, as a man. And by the way, she didn't have the surgery, but that's to me, that's irrelevant. As a man competing as a swimmer, he was ranked as a man 430th in the country, something okay. along those lines. Okay. Then identifying as a woman, he was all, all of a sudden number one in the country. So how can you make the case that it's not an enormous advantage and unfair to women, at least in this situation, that Leah Thomas competes as a swimmer okay. against born women. so let me ask you so let me ask you what is the distance between when uh leah thomas as you said she sure. as a man was the yep. 400th and something mm -hmm. right and then uh, what uh, was? my understanding is it was a, a few years prior okay so so, so what yep. you're saying is so what you're saying is he didn't uh he didn't just identify as leah thomas just to become a woman swimmer is what you're saying i'm not willing to go that far because i don't know here's what i do know okay he was when mm -hmm. when identifying as a man, I'm trying to be respectful here, and I know you will as well, uh, was not even close to the top 100 as a man, as a swimmer. And then all of a sudden, we're led to believe that it wasn't an advantage when all of a sudden he became a she or identified as a she and became number one. Well, she is one. she is a she is a woman. And that's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll define Leah Thomas as a woman, but I don't think Leah Thomas should be competing with other women. Uh, in college sports, because I think it's unfair to pe to women that are born women. I think it's very unfair. Okay, so um, let me ask you again. So, do you believe that that Leah Thomas changed their how they identified just to win? Okay, so I'll answer that and say I don't know, but I will also say it shouldn't. In my opinion, it mm -hmm. shouldn't matter. What matters to me, no matter what their objective is or whether they, you know, they're not doing it so they can be the best female swimmer in the world. To me, it doesn't matter. What matters is the women that are competing that were born women competing against somebody that was born a man who is has, you know, in my personal opinion, huge advantages as far as strength. For example, you wouldn't allow someone born a man to compete with women on the LPGA tour. Why? Because most men, professional golfers, born men, hit the golf ball a lot further. It's why the golf courses are much easier for the women. You wouldn't allow somebody born a man to compete in the WNBA, uh, born a man, because most men are stronger and faster than women on the basketball court. You wouldn't allow somebody who's born a man playing uh, you know, professional hockey 
uh, competing with women. You, you wouldn't allow a man or shouldn't uh, allow a man that was born a man transitioning to a woman to be in the ring with, you know, uh, you know, professional female boxers that were born women. I just think a track and field is another example, uh, baseball, whatever you name it. And here's my final argument, um, on this issue. Why is it, if it's not an unfair advantage, why is it that people that are born women transitioning to men are not competing with men in professional or college sports? We don't hear about it happening. Why? Because if you're born a woman, born a woman transitioning to a man, it's not going to give you the unfair advantage competing with other men, no matter how much testosterone you put in your body. On the flip side, if you're born a, a uh, man transitioning to a woman, you're still going to have unfair advantages. So let me ask you, would you be vehemently um, opposed to a woman playing in the NFL? No, if she can, absolutely not. Because I don't think it's an, uh, 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 an advantage if you're a woman competing with men. Uh, if a woman could be a kicker or any position, and she can compete at that level, which I don't believe, I, I think it'd be a very rare circumstance. Uh, then I give I give her all the credit in the world. Go ahead and do it. But that's a different circumstance, right? I don't think it's an advantage for a woman to compete with men. I do believe a naturally born man. What if she's really fast? What if she's the one of the fastest people on earth? What if she's well? If what if she's, she's really fast? fast? What if she runs really fast? There's a lot of women that run really fast. There's a lot of women that run faster than running backs in the NFL. Well, there's a reason why, though, they're not in the NFL, because they're not as strong and they're not as fast as pr- we're not. So talking what if what if fast. there was a woman? What if right. there was a woman who could right. compete yeah. in the speed that right. a that a running back could compete? OK, right? let me respond to that and say if that what if she could out compete a running back. What is she? Right. You know what? I actually you know what? I see your point. I see your point. I would not want a woman to go into a man's league and be able to out compete them if she was faster than they were. Well, you're, right. No, you're, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. That would be right. that would probably be d- a disadvantage of a woman who is much faster than men. OK, but we're not talking than about men. we're not talking about people like you and me. Right. There's plenty. of I played prof- I, not professional, but I played college golf. Right. Mm-hmm. LPGA golfers would kick my ass but we're not talking about amateur athletes so you're saying there's not a there's not a woman out there in sports that is faster than some of the the wide receivers or running backs if, in the NFL. well i'll answer it by saying this if in fact nfl owners and mm-hmm. general managers thought that there were women out there that could make their football team better they already would have been signed and it would have been great publicity and it would have been great there's a reason why it's literally never happened in the nfl because they don't believe it will help their football team. Uh, it just, it's just the reality of the situation. If what you're saying would come to fruition, it would have already happened. The reason why it hasn't happened in the NBA, the NFL, Major League Baseball, any of the... Any of the because the, of the bro oligarchy, right? I don't think it's bro oligarchy. I really believe that if there was a woman out there and there was a general manager and an owner of a football team that claimed, that thought that a woman could make their football team better, then I would be all... Great, I'd, I'd be all for it. But again, we're going back to, you know someone who's born a woman. Well, why can't well, but why can't a woman be a quarterback too? That, a quarterback doesn't have to run that fast. You could have a I mean I I I've, I've met a woman that was 6 foot 4. She had that she had the structure of a man cuz maybe she had the the Y chromosome. Let me uh, give you an example. Of it. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking mm-hmm. about. Yeah. So Serena Williams is arguably the best female tennis player of all time. By the way, okay. love women's tennis. I think it's a great yeah, sure. Product, right? Sure. Serena Williams played a man because they were uh, that I think was ranked 410th in the world for mm-hmm. 10. The reason why they did this is because John McEnroe made some statements that uh, some call controversial. I agreed with him that, you know, there's no professional female tennis player that could beat a top 500 male player. So they played two sets and Serena Williams lost six, one, six, one. Now let me repeat the best female tennis player of all time. Why? Because the men serve the ball harder. They're faster. They're stronger. I'm talking about professional athletes, not amateurs, even though I don't agree with somebody born a man transitioned to a woman competing at the D1 college level. But why did we, wait, 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 why did we allow her to play him? Because she's much weaker than him. Why would we do that? Why as a society would we allow her? And why would we allow him? He's, wait, 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 he's much stronger. He's much faster. He can compete on a higher level. Why, why would we do that? Why would we allow a society, a man to compete against a woman? That sounds like the opposite of what you were saying earlier. So the reason why, and by the way, it wasn't a sanctioned match. It wasn't for prize money. Uh, 
It wasn't in a oh, oh, men's okay. so, tournament. So, so as long as there's um, nothing at stake, then women so, can compete with men no, and men can compete with women. No, because in a tennis match, nobody's going to be physically harmed. There's a difference between a man and a woman competing. <laughs> well, listen to what I say. What there's about a, swimming? Swimming, you're physically harmed. That's not a contact sport. Right, but here's yeah, but the that's thing. the argument you made earlier was no, about was about no, swimming. No. It's a contact so sport. So how is she gonna? How is how are so, those how are those female swimmers gonna get hurt if so a trans if, woman is a swimmer and they're swimming in separate lanes? See, you're, right. again, no, I, I'll, I'll I, I, I love the discourse and I no. love the conversation, but I want to stay on track here. Well, Tony, the reason is if you want to talk about women's safety, that's a sure. different issue. Okay, no, I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't bring up the safety. You brought up the safety. Okay, but but. We are just specifically talking about competing at a level. Now, if you want to talk about safety, yeah, of course, we could talk about the UFC, right. boxing, the NFL, the NBA. Physical well, I, I mean, if we're going to talk about safety in the UFC, I think we would get rid of the sport altogether. Well, OK, that's another yeah. argument. But I understand. Right. I'm not a UFC fan. I'm saying there's a different argument. What I'm talking about are two different things. In some cases, safety for the women. In every case, what is fair? It's unfair to... Make the case that if you're born a man, in my opinion, that it's not an advantage, even if you've transitioned over to compete against uh, to compete against women on the playing field or the tennis court. Yes, in some of those sports that are contact sports, I think it can be dangerous to the women. What about a woman who has a broken Y chromosome like the Algerian boxer in the Olympics? So that woman was proven, uh, and the Kremlin, I know, which I, I'm sure you and I don't trust, uh, made the case that no, that's a man, not a man. Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. Even though she's not a man, she's got a she's got a biological advantage. It's unfair. It's so that's unfair. According, so that test was according to the Kremlin, which I don't believe, by the way. Um, I would I would go back to that situation. That person was born a woman. That I know, person, I know, I know that. Yeah, that person also has lost more matches than they've won. That is not a man. So, so I, I and, and you and I both agree on this. There's a lot of attacks on the far right. And I thought that was horrible, by the way. Horrible attacks on this poor woman who uh, who won a medal. And and I think I thought it was great. I felt horrible for her. But that's a woman. So, um, wait, so wait, so so you're saying as long as long as a person is born with a certain genitalia, um, then then what you're saying is is that 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 leads you to believe that there would be fair unfairness because she does she did have the she did have the uh, uh, a disorder of the chromosome whatever and I, I, listen. I am a cisgender man. I, I, I do. I, I do not know a lot of science around trans people. Right. I respect their decision to be trans people and I respect yeah. their decision to want to participate in sports, whatever the reason may be. Um, but in this instance, again, we are waiting in waters. We are waiting in waters that are good conversations. And I I actually this conversation that we're having right now, if we would have been if this country would have been having these conversations about trans yeah. people when the hatred and the bigotry started, I think it would actually I humanize agree. them and people would be less afraid. I, I agree. Listen, let me be very clear on this. And yeah. I think anybody that listens to this show knows where I stand on this issue. I feel for trans people. I want them to be happy. I want them to do what they want with their bodies so long as it's legal. I want them to be treated as equals. I treat them as equals. I know trans people. Just not in sports. Uh well, because they're not equals on the playing field when it comes to physicality. So, so they're not e so they're not equal. So let me ask you a question then. No, I don't. Uh, when it comes to the physicalness okay. of, of competing right. against women, no, I don't. Um, are you okay with someone born a man okay. transition to a woman mm -hmm. getting into the boxing ring with someone who's a naturally born woman? You're okay with that. You're okay with people who are born men. Transition to women competing in the WNBA, you're it would change sport altogether. You're, I mean, you're okay with that? You don't think that's a danger? So, 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 am, so am I okay with with the consensual? <laughs> and and I mean, th these you're talking about people choosing to be in sports. Um, NFL players all the time choose to be in sports and choose to retire for different reasons. Some mm -hmm. of them being safety, some of them being the safety uh, of their brain. There's been a lot of NFL uh, players retire early, earlier than they are used to. And the reason why is because they are they yeah. are a little uh, iffy about the brain injury and CTE and they've chosen to retire. So. You're saying you're saying that the women competing in the ring against this against this trans woman, you're saying that they, they're they're OK with it. They want to compete. They want to compete. And they well, want a lot to of people are not. a lot of people in sports. So are why not. are they in the sports? 
What What do you mean? Why are they? Why are they in the sport? I mean, I mean, there's a lot of people that retire from the NFL because they're not okay with getting their skull smashed in and having brain injury, so they retire and they're not in the sport anymore. Well, I think uh, I don't speak for all those people, but I would assume that a lot of those people feel like if they're in the ring with somebody that uh, and th- they have an unfair advantage over them. That uh, same thing in any other sport. Uh, let me let me let me ask you this in closing yeah. here on this mm-hmm. topic. Sure. Um, you well, think I, I know you're probably running out of time, but uh, yeah, we ahead. are, but it's a good yeah. conversation. Um, no, it's, it's, it's the perfect yeah. conversation to have. Sure. Um, so in regards going back to Leah Thomas, do you think it's just a coincidence that she was over 400th in the country as a college division one male swimmer and then transitioning to a woman, she all of a sudden becomes the number one female swimmer of all time. Is that just a coincidence? I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, just like you don't know if that's the reason why she transitioned. But, it, but okay, but hold on. I'm not, I, I hear what you're saying. In this conversation or in this question, at least in my opinion, it shouldn't matter what her reasoning is. What matters is she transitioned to a woman, regardless of what her reasoning was, and she went from over 400th in the country as a man to number one in the country as a woman. And my question is, regardless of what her reasoning was, because we both don't know, is that just a coincidence? Did she just really work hard over the summer? Again, I, I, again, okay. again, I, I, just like you said, you don't know if she transitioned to do that. I don't know. I do not know what the what the coincidence or the circumstances would be. Oh, what I, what, what, I will, what I will tell you, what I will tell you is that there are there are trans women competing in women's sports and women's activities. One of them is Kaylin Jenner. Mm-hmm. And Kaylin Jenner competes in a lot of golf matches, a lot of golf competitions, and they're, they're not sanctioned or professional, right. but she's right. still doing it. Right. But Caitlyn, Je- but golf is uh, Caitlyn Jenner is not competing on the LPGA tour. Caitlyn Jenner is not, a well, professional. But, but she's, she's not good enough, right? Well, well, Caitlin, first of all, Caitlin, I mean, she got, should be because she's, she was a man at one time. She was I, I, actually I, an Olympic athlete. She right, was right, actually right, an Olympic right, athlete. But just, just because you're an Olympic athlete doesn't mean you're going to shoot a 65 on the golf course. I played division one college golf. And right, but, 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 but wait, well, but wait, wait, wait. She's has right. a, she has a much bigger unfair advantage because she, she is stronger, bigger, and faster. Compared right? to the average woman. Yes, Caitlyn Jenner does, but we're not talking about a casual round of golf. I, on the I golf think, course. I think, I think the problem here. I think the problem here that that a lot of people have with this discussion about sports is that it's not it's not singular. Right. Um, Because you'll make one argument about one sport and I try to make the argument another sport and you say, no, it's not the same question. Then let me ask Mm -hmm. you, uh, since we're talking about golf, um, if LPGA golfers could compete on the PGA Tour where the prize money is 20 times as high, you could look that up. Why hasn't an LPGA player ever made the cut? They've had uh, over 10 opportunities if they're making more money on the PGA tour, if WNBA players could make a hundred times more money in the NBA, then why aren't they playing in the NBA? Why aren't they playing on the PGA tour? By the way, there have been uh, almost a dozen instances of LPGA players that played in men's tournaments that have all been unable to make the cut on the PGA tour. Why? Because there are advantages of being a male professional golfer compared to being a female professional golfer. Surely you'll give me that, right? Women have had the opportunity to play on the PGA Tour. Well, I I mean, if if we're going to talk about inequity in markets and and what the market value is of one sport to another, because, I I mean, you you have the same situation in women's soccer where they were getting paid pittance compared to the men that were playing, uh, and they were playing at higher levels in their league. They lost to a a JV boys soccer team in a I, again again yeah, again see this is this is this is the thing is why were those women allowed to play against against men I'll tell you why, why? no what no no that is that should be that is unequal that is unfair no, and you you, you should not use that statistic because it's an unfair match I'll tell you why. it's an unfair I, match I have a great example I'll tell you why I'll tell you why yeah go ahead um, WNBA <laughs> basketball team the Las Vegas Aces Right. And the UConn women's basketball team, I used to watch mm-hmm. the practices with Gino Arena. Right. They would scrimmage against amateur college right. men. Why? Because it's physically demanding. And even though those men aren't professionals or Division One college it athletes. It should be illegal. It should be banned because they're two different genders competing. Now, here, here, here I want to close with this. I, I want to close say, with this. I didn't say they, they can't compete how much what, time how much time you got left because i have uh, four minutes correct okay okay well uh, uh, the reason why is because i want to make this point and, okay. and because i think i think we will even though we disagree on on uh certain issues here i think we will agree on on something uh broader yeah and, and what that is is that 
um, we are cisgendered men and we we are are not women. We are not trans people. And until we can figure out that we need to bring women and trans people into these conversations and, and they need to have these conversations with us because trans sure. people I have. are going to be able to in that. And that, that is the fair conversation because sure. I'm, I'm sitting here uh, uh, de defending uh, my position. And my position mm -hmm. is, is I think that, that there is a place for trans people in sports. I, I, I never said there wasn't. That's right. I, I, and, and, and again, again, that, that is that is my position. And I am I am uh, and basically a place for trans people in sports. Right. I completely but, agree with you, but that's but, a different conversation. Right. right. But 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 what but I what I want to make the point is yes. that this country has to get in a place where we can have conversations, just sure. like the women's issue sure. with bodily autonomy, sure. men boxing out women to talk about those women's issues, uh, and then knowing an argument. Sex. You're not so, going to hear an argument. From the same, either, the right? same, the same reason why I would say that that the biggest, the biggest arguing back and forth that should happen in trans sports mm -hmm. is athletes and trans athletes and trans people, and the reason why is because they know themselves, and maybe, maybe we as a society can learn a little bit about them and a little bit about what their experiences are, because my experience is so far from a trans person that's not even funny. Sure. I mean, listen, um, most of the trans people that I've talked to. Uh, not, not all. I, listen, maybe I've talked to maybe a dozen um, and they've, they've told me that they understand where I'm coming from and they agree. But at the same sure. time, we should have trans people allowed to compete in sports in some facet. I don't know whether that would be a league with all trans. I, I, I don't know. Right. It is. It I, is a difficult it is a yeah. difficult subject to wade in. Right. I mean, I want everyone. I want everybody to have the opportunity to enjoy life, be who they are have fun. I just want it to be fair for everybody. I want everyone to be treated fairly. And um, if a woman, I want to be very clear on this, if a naturally born woman or even a trans woman is skilled enough as an athlete, I don't care what sport it is, where they can compete and they're good enough to be a professional athlete with men, I want to be very clear. I am all for it. We just haven't seen it yet. And I think that if the only reasoning behind it, in your opinion, is well, you know, they, they just, you know, the men don't want it, it to happen. It, it, I, I mean, I don't know what the marketability is. It, it, what, I, what I'm trying to say that is, is that. Great. Are you kidding me? I think I, I'm, I'm trying, I'm great. trying to advance the conversation sure. that, 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 that there is, that there is a, a, a little bit of blurred lines here and there is, there, are, there is and, great area. It's sure. not black and, and white. I hear you. And you're not, you're, you're not, in, and I'm not involved in the conversations like right. so many on the far right are with attacking the trans community. Right. And the bigotry and the hatred. And I think that's an important place to start and finish. Absolutely. I think yeah. that's why I said that this sure. this conversation, if if this conversation would have been had years ago in a, in a in a very in a very distinct uh, discourse sure. in this country, I think we wouldn't sure. demonize trans people in the LGBTQ community yeah. like and we like despicable. so many do. That's where a hundred percent we agree on any yep. any sort of language like that attacking people because they're what's between their legs or what their sexuality is right a disgrace and we know where most of that is coming from and it ain't coming Absolutely. from the left absolutely it's coming from the right and that's exactly where we agree upon Tony.